Social media, the general public and many others have questioned the government's honesty and integrity with regards to earlier promises of no haircuts. It appears the prevailing economic conditions have plunged the financial ecosystem of the country into a state of uncertainty, demanding that certain decisions be taken against previous plans and predictions to be able to salvage what is left of an ailing economy. But economist Dr. Patrick Assuming maintains the government's honesty to the people from the onset could have done some good given a clearer picture of what the investment markets look like and informed better decisions of customers. The communication around this has been completely mismanaged by the government. And I think when the news item first came that there will be a haircut, I think the government should immediately have made a release and explain to the people of Ghana what will happen and what will not happen. Now, it appears that they haven't, find, they haven't really agreed the, the terms of the restructuring with the, the debt holders. So they obviously need to wait and get the agreement done. But once the budget is read, and then you know, the finance minister made it clear, and then the deputy finance ministers have also gone on to say things that seem to obviously confirm. So it appears that the initial assurance the president gave that there will be no haircuts has completely gone out of the window because subsequently we've seen the finance minister and his deputies come up and make statements. So first, I think it's, it will be important that the, the discussion about the restructuring is, completely, is done very quickly and the government comes out clearly and communicates exactly what is happening and what is not happening. In the meantime, the spate of panic withdrawals keeps increasing as customers try to save by all means what is left of their various investments. However, it appears this also poses some more threats to the economy and customers are advised to remain calm. At this point, it's in everybody's interest, especially if your investment horizon hasn't changed and you're able to hold your investment for a longer term. It's better that you hold your investment for a longer term because over the long term, you should expect that interest rates will come down and then the bond prices will go back up and then people will be able to receive what they normally expect. But in the current environment, if you try to remove your investment, this is it. You, you, you incur significant losses. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.